This Algebra 2 video is on concept 22, uh, and I'm going to look here at all of this, number 13, all these options. Uh, it says four bank account options are listed below. Number 13, if each option is invested for a 30-year period, find the value of each investment. I'm going to go through all these options, A through E, and I'm going to try to find the total value after this 30-year period ends. Now, option A says $3,000 initial deposit, no interest, no interest at all, which means it literally will not change one bit. At the end of 30 years, it's still going to be $3,000, which is probably not the option you want to go with. Now, for option B, you're starting with an $800 initial deposit with 4% annual interest compounded quarterly. So what that means is, remember that <clears throat> we're taking our initial deposit, the amount we're depositing, our, our initial value, our starting value, that goes in front. This multiplier comes from the percent of interest. Now, since this is being done compounded quarterly, I have to take that 4% and I have to divide that into four pieces. I have to divide it by four. Quarterly means it's, going, it's being done four times a year, which means it's really 1% that's being compounded every single time. And since this is a percentage, I'm going to add this 1% to 100%, which gives me 101%. So my multiplier will be 1.01. Now the exponent represents how many times it's compounded total throughout this entire 30-year period. So this exponent has to be the <clears throat> four times a year that it's being compounded from being compounded quarterly times 30 for 30 years. Four times 30 is 120. This now when I work all this out is going to give me the total amount in that bank account after 30 years. So now in my calculator I'm taking 8,000 times, or sorry 800, 800 times 1.01 .01 raised to the 120th power and that looks like it's going to give me two thousand six hundred forty dollars and it's going to round to thirty one cents two thousand six hundred forty and thirty one cents so actually when you compare to option a this is actually a better option a is a better option without getting interest but it really depends on what you're putting into the account in the beginning <coughs> option c $700 initial deposits, now this $800 is now going to be $700. With 5% annual interest compounded annually, that means it's just done once per year. So in the beginning, this, the other option, we had to divide that percentage by 4 because of being compounded quarterly. Annually means we don't have to change the 5% at all. It's just 0 0.05, so 5% is going to add to 100, which gives us 105% which as a decimal is 1.05. And then the exponent, remember, before we had to take the 30 years and multiply by 4 because it was done quarterly, but annually it's just once per year. So it'll be 1 times 30, which gives us to the 30th power. So now it's 700 times this new multiplier raised to the 30th. 700, 1.01. raised to the 30th. And now we're over $3,000. So you have 3025 and that's going to round to $0.36. 325 $0.36. Cents. Option D. $700 deposits. So again, it's 700 4.5% annual, annual interest compounded continuously. Now, continuously means that instead of using this percent as a multiplier, Continuously means we have to use that constant E. Now the, the exponent that we use for the E is this percentage, but we don't have to worry about this 100%. It's just taking 4.5% and changing it to a decimal. So it's taking that decimal moving it twice. So it's really 0 0.045, but then that decimal, that percentage, after we've changed it to the decimal, now has to multiply by how many times is being how many years it's in the account which again for all of these is 30 years so now I've got to take in the calculator 700 and my e where's my e oh there we go second there's my e to the 0 
zero four five times thirty. So I got my seven hundred. There's the e point zero five thirty. Enter, and now it's giving me less than three thousand two thousand seven hundred dollars, and that's going to round to twenty cents. And I think we have yes one more option option E seven hundred dollars initial deposit and eighty dollars interest annually. So here it's not giving you a percentage. It's just saying that every year you just get eighty dollars added to the account. It's not finding the, all these other ones had a percentage of the, of the total as being compounded a certain amount of times. Here it's not an exponential pattern. It's a linear pattern which is like slope and intercept. So it's taking that initial deposit seven hundred adding $80 for every year that it's in there. And in this case, it's 30 years. So now you have to take 80 times 30, which 80 times 30 gives us $2,400. So it's 700 plus the 2,400, which is $3,100. So after all that work, which option is the most viable after the 30 year investment period is over? Option E ends up giving us the most compared to all the others, $3,100.